Drilling with Arc Positioning Select the drilling icon and be sure to have Drilling 1 selected. Define the position of your first hole. X is the position of the first hole along X, and in this example we will be using a value of 0. Y is the position of the first hole along Y, and in this example we will be using a value of 0. To find the machining condition, ZS is your safety distance and we will be using 0.1. Z is the starting point and we will be using 0. P, Z depth, will be using a value of 0.5. I is the drilling pec and will be 0.2 per pass. T is the dwell time and again we will be using 0.5. To find your penetration, F is your feed rate and we will be using 10 inches per minute. S is your spindle speed and we will be using 1000 RPM. Select the spindle direction if necessary. T is your tool number. We will be using tool 3. D is the offset and we are using D3. Select the arc positioning icon. Go to Level Cycle 2, Arc Positioning 2. Define the center coordinates and machining conditions. XC is the center point of your bolt hole position on the x-axis. In this example, we will be using a value of 1.5. YC is the center point of your bolt hole position on the y-axis. In this example, we will be using the value of minus 2 inches. R is the radius of the bolt hole pattern and we will be using a value of 1.1. The value is entered into this field when we are machining a part on an angle. In this example we will be using 0. N is the total number of holes in the arc and we will be using a value of 8. The beta is the angular distance between points and we will be using a value of 0. This is the angle of the endpoint, and in this example we will use a value of 0. Simulate the operation. and then save the part program. You've now created and simulated your part program and are ready for execution.